Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. That one is 100 with 14, that one is 100 with 20 uh, passenger car for the Sultan. Probably not a good idea to go using the one specifically for the Sultan, for everybody else. We'll get that one later on. Uh, 14 people, we'll, we'll go with just the regular compartment car because it's, it's suited to the train, isn't it? So we'll add that one in. That's 11, 22, 33, 44 people in there. 3.163 million minus old vehicle value. We don't have any old vehicle value at the moment. So we will buy that bad boy right there. That one is going to be called. Who is our first train on this map? I wonder. Uh, that is Austin Camps. Austin Camps right there. You are the first train. And you're going to be coloured. I'm not leaving any of them uncoloured. So you are a blue train, right there. Go here, go line nine. Okay. I'm going to go and have a look at Austin Camps coming out of the station over here. Oh, that is beautiful. Noisy. Definitely noisy and not the fastest train. But then I have got it on standard speed rather than sped up or anything. So that's kind of to be expected. It does look pretty cool. I'm loving this. I, I like the look of this train. I do like the look of that train. Right, there is the first one set up. So I've got to do the same over here. We've got to set up another station. And we're going to go over here. I don't know if there is a way. If I go on there and I go to configure, there doesn't seem to be like a copy-paste mode. So, I mean, we don't have to do what we did over on the last one. But I would like to do a little bit of so I do want to do that, and then I want to go tracks in here. I want to click on those, and I want to put in a second round of tracks on there. I, I can't go back any further, but then I've already got a track built there. I could go with a little bit more with the platform, taking it down that way. I can't go up this way, because there's road in the way. Hmm. We'll leave the platform as it is. We can always extend it out later. That's, that's not any major hardship, is it? We've got the underpass on there on the platform. So I'll go back here. We go to the passenger platform there. I'll put all three of those in. Then we go to the miscellaneous bit. And we go to that one and we drop that in there. And we will put a cover over the top of it. Like that, that, and that. And then I can go back to the tracks. And I'll put another one down the side here like this. And another one down the side like this. And then I will put a final platform in here. So I've only got four tracks on here at the moment. I don't need any more than that. That's got everything sort of covered, I should say. I'm quite happy with that one. So there's the Konya station. And we will get rid of this road so that we can drive out from here. Drive out. We can, yeah, we, we can go out with our train. And then that one there, that road there is going to be removed. So I'll get rid of that one off of this and we go train station buildings it's the passenger station that i need and i want to bring you around that way so hang on a minute let's bring you over this way and i then want to go shift like that so that allows me to rotate gently just incrementally like that so i want to get that perfectly lined up along that road that's what i'd like that one is going to go right there. So I'm not going to bother putting anything extra on this train station at the moment. It's got everything that it needs. It's got the underpass bit right there and covers over the whole thing. So we don't need any more of that. And we're going to take the inside track from here and we're going to run that over to the other station. So I take the inside track right there and that one is going to go over here. So I need to either have this go in a straight line over to there, cross this road... Or we need to go out round the farm. I think we will just go straight through here. Like this. And you look there. I've got fly <laughs> flying cars going across there. And let's bring this back over that way. We'll run you through here like this. That's pretty close. I have to get rid of that because I need to get rid of that bit there. Let's go back to our train track building. Let's try that again then, shall we? I want to go... That one on that side. Now I'll bring you over here. Down to there. Let's zoom in a tiny bit. There, right over to that side. 
think that will be okay. If we look here, it's pushing the road down a little bit. Pushes the road down here a bit more, but that's not so bad. Actually, I quite like that. That's, that's looking all right. It's not going to hold things up too badly. So we will put that one in there like that. And now the vehicles come down a little bit of a hill just as they're going through there. No problems at all. Right, excellent. So there's the next station. And then I can go in here and I can set up another line, new line. We will add that one there and we will add that one there. Conya to Irregli. And then I'll do the same in here that we did on the last one. We need to put another build. We need another one of these. And this one is going to go on this inside on over here. So I'm going to need to put that sort of back up there a little bit. So I've got room to bring the track out from it. I'll bring you over there like that. And that one will curve out that way like that. And then I'll do another one that will curve out that way like that. Because we have previously had complications when we don't do that bit. Done. Job done. Absolutely wonderful. Konya Train Depot. Right, I've connected them. Now we've just got to bring the workers from one to the other. So I want to buy a vehicle in here. I'd like a steam car. We're going to go with the same one here, the PLM220. Uh, we'll go to the passenger cars. One, two, three, four. The same as we did last time. And we will buy that bad boy right there. So this one here, this train is going to be called... What is your name? I wonder, uh, Austin Camps was the last one, Leon, Leon right here, I haven't put the little thing, I wonder if I can do that, uh, L, E, and then you go, Alt, no, Alt doesn't work, Alt, G, ah, there we go, Leon, look at that, look, I can actually do it, it's Alt, G, on the, the, the right hand Alt button, Alt, G, R, I don't know what the G, R stands for on the keyboard, there we go, Leon, is on that train right there. So I want to make sure you're the right. You're a purple color. There we go. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Right. Uh, let's actually assign it to a line. Like that. Down here. Zoom in. And there's Leon on his way out. Off he goes. Quite frankly, I think Leon looks magnificent today, basking in the sunshine in all his glory. Look at that. That is wonderful. Let's go a little bit faster now. I've gone and put the... I'm delivering food, liberating translators, 4 of 10 right there. And we are away. Look at that. Steaming down the tracks down here. Vehicle stopping on the tracks back there. That is spot on perfect into the new station down here turn round and back the other way right let you do that a minute and then i want to go over here do i need to set up a bus route for the station i got nobody here wanting to travel this where are you running to and fro Austin Camps over here. You run this line here. Let's see where you're going. You're, you're traveling out across the desert over here. That's absolutely brilliant and wonderful. I have got somebody over there at that station. Bring workers from Aleppo to Adana. In here. I've already done that. It's already got that one as a tick. So we're just waiting on the other one. Right here, I'm waiting to bring some food... To the Western Desert Tribe. Ryder is wanting to do that. And if I look down here at Adana North. Ryder doesn't have. Oh wait a minute. Ryder does. Because Ryder is line 8. Ryder has got bread there waiting. And he will be able to feed the Wesert. The, the, the West. The Wesert. The Wesert Destin Tribe. Or perhaps even the Western Desert Tribe. He'll be able to feed them. With the bread that they so desperately want. And that bit will be done. And I've just brought more passengers over here there is a passenger right there leon is about to bring our next round of passengers look at him go he looks like the flying scotsman now go leon look at this let's do it like this <laughs> out of the way people hot stuff coming through <laughs> i love how they're all sat there politely waiting but i can't even see them we're going past so fast 
Right, let's see if this completely messes up the entire game by coming in here, because that is going to... Work in the mountains is only progressing slow. Access to the Mediterranean would prove to be extremely useful. A branch line already runs from the port town of Mersine to Adana. It would be advisable to buy it up. Instead of begging for credit from your superiors, you might as well purchase the line all by yourself. That will certainly make an impression back home. You ought to pitch camp on the other side of the Taurus at the branch line's last stop. Build the headquarters in Adana. Right. Let's slow that down a bit. He wanted me to buy something, buy up a line, and pitch camp somewhere. Adana. He wanted me to build something over here. I mean, quite frankly, that place looks rather nice down there, doesn't it? Does that not look absolutely wonderful? And then I got the Adana port machine over here. Ah. Right, I can't click on that one, so I can't interact with it. So where... Uh, establish a branch office. Build the headquarters in Adana. So I, need, I need to be able to buy this thing in a minute. That one is almost done. Ryder is on his way back with the last few bits of bread in order to liberate the translator over there. That one's on its way. But first up, we need to build our branch headquarters. Now, if I remember correctly, you go to line manager. I obviously don't remember correctly. Let's try that one. Nope, I still don't remember correctly. Somewhere around here, there is a headquarters. Where did you get the headquarters from? It was a very, very important building that we had to do, wasn't it? Uh, urban, country, waypoint buildings. Streets. It wasn't one of these. You had a different option. Vehicle stats, industry, town, station, line stats. Ooh. There's where we get the individual profit and loss per line. Okay. I was looking for that previously and I didn't know where it was. So we're making a nice bit of money apart from the passengers at the moment. Everything else is bringing in an absolute fortune. Look at this. Plus three more on line five. And they made, they've made a lot of money. They're making us a lot of money. That's, that's absolutely brilliant. Uh, you vehicle stats in here. So what have I got? Alan Hickman. Oh, I see. Now I'm getting individual profit per vehicle in here. So we can see who is the most profitable out of all of our workers in here. Look at you all working for me. I bet none of you thought when you got entered into the Great Book of Names that what you'd actually end up doing is being my workforce. You all work for me now. I own you all. I own all of you. I am the supreme leader. Now, let's just move over this way. Uh, Ryder is on his way up. He's making some money, so we don't need to fire Ryder. He's, he's, he's doing all right. He's a good little boy. We bring him in up through here. I'm going to wait. I'm just going to let this one finish, and then we'll start doing... I need to find the whole branch office thing. A little bit concerned that I've forgotten how to do what that. What an adventure. Kara Ben Nemzi Effendi is deeply indebted to you for your services. Okay. There's the desert adventure finished. So I'm assuming that there's going to be another adventure at some point that we will want to do something with, but not right now. What is that? What is that in the desert? It's like a giant sort of oil skid mark or something. Not quite sure. Right, ignore the skid marks in the middle of the desert. And Adana. Now, does it say specifically where I was supposed to build this branch office? Build a headquarters in. You ought to pitch camp on the other side of the Taurus at the branch line's last stop. Oh, so somewhere around here. So if I was to put it overlooking the lake... That would be pretty good. I'm kind of thinking here on that bit, on that little ridge right there. Uh, but it's... That's the context help. I don't want that. That's what you got. You click on the main one down here and you go to headquarters. Company score six. Assets, liquidity, um, inventory, real estate, vehicles. Okay, this, this, is, this is brilliant. Build. Rid of that one. This is some fancy-looking estate that I've got here. 
a very fancy looking estate that I've got here. So I want to bring that round because we need to have, obviously you need to have the main entrance going through there. And also, ah, I bring it in here too far. If it, if it goes up, it's like shaving off the whole mountain. I don't want to shave the mountain. Shaving mountains is not something we want to do. And I also don't want to bring that up. I can't put that down there. I don't want to bring that up quite so high, do I? Although, back here would be all right. Bring that back a little bit. Maybe lower it down a bit. Now, that there was... What was the, the, the raise and lower? Q and E is to turn it round. So it's N and M. L is line manager. I did that wrong. I can't remember what the buttons are now. Build. In here. There's definitely some raise and lower bits. Uh, bulldoze is that one. Okay, I need, I need to check back in here. We need to go to settings. We need to go to controls in here. Uh, camera tilts. No, no, uh, no. Keypads. F. There we go. Look. Construction. M N full stop comma O P. Right. That's what we want. That's all I needed. Build. Go in here. Full stop and comma. That's the ones I want. As I just want to lower it down. So I can bring that down here. I can raise it and lower it as much as I want. I can just put that back over there. See, I don't really like the idea of this mountain left behind, left beside me over there. I'll bring that back that way a bit. Let's zoom you over this way a bit. There. So put that down that way. Uh, afford a little bit. Silver right. has been found in the mountains. And this enables you to finance the branch line to the sea using existing funds. Your superiors in Germany will be seriously impressed. Deliver 20 silver ore to their headquarters. Right, i got to get 20 silver ore to here. All right, well, we'll, we'll worry about that in a minute because there's a couple of little bits that I want to do. Bring this over here. I want to level this out. I don't like the way that this looks. So we do this. This this levels it out really nicely. This uh, brush strength is a little bit high. Let's bring that down. That's better. Yeah, it's just smoothing the edges a little bit. That's what I'm doing here. Smooth those edges there. And bring this bit up over here. I got, I got boatloads of money. I can afford to do things like this. I right, don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got absolutely boatloads of money, so I can afford to do a little bit of landscaping work, just to make it look a little bit nicer for me around here. There. Bring that down. Bring the mountain around a little bit. Don't really want to be bringing it up too much, but I suppose we can a bit. That, there, that's what we want to do. We want to bring that, sort of, smooth that down a bit. There, like that. There. That looks much better. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to bring this up a little bit over here. Like that. There. And then we can go on and we can build the road that has got to, obviously, connect this bit up. So that's got to be streets, and we'll go with a medium street. We don't need a massive great big street on here. So that one can come out from there, and then I can bring that around foot of the mountain and connect that one into there like that. I don't really want a busy through road going here, do I? This is, this is the headquarters, but I mean, we, at the same time, we are going to want some traffic that's going to be able to come through. So... We'll go up to there. That will be where the through road will go. So it's slightly back from the through road that is passing along this direction. Better yet, we'll move those two there. Go back to this road and put that one more of a straight line along there. That looks tidier. That does look a little bit tidier in there. So we'll keep that bit. Now, I want to go to you. Can I... Oh, I can relocate. 
But I'm not allowed to reconfigure. I wanted to maybe make the entrance way a little bit wider. But we don't need to. That's pretty good. And there is our wonderful home right beside the lake as well. I think this is quite a beautiful headquarters. Especially now that we've gone and just landscaped things a little bit. You couldn't ask for a better location for your home, could you? Nice little secluded lake in there. There's no real risk of flooding, I don't think. Because we are, uh, like, the, the ground is raised a bit here. The flooding will happen over here. And then water, maybe we are. It could be we are at flood risk. I mean, considering how big an area this is, if we're going to get flooded, everything's going to get flooded. So I don't think the flood risk is too severe. I don't think we need to worry about it very much. So next up, I've got the Adana Silver Mine. I need to get 20 silver ore from there over to this one. Which means I'm going to want another delivery point. I think we will just have a drop-off point on that one. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go to buildings. And I want to go to that one. And it's just going to be one of those. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to put a drop-off point right there. Which does include that bit in there. So there's the drop-off point. It's not too close to the headquarters that it's going to be causing a load of issues. And then I can go to truck station over here. And I made that one a little bit bigger, didn't I? So we're going to... Bring that one down a bit, and we're going to drop that down to a 20 meter one. And I could actually put it right out here, and it still be okay. So that's going to go right out there. I don't need it any bigger than that at the moment. I mean, maybe we will need to increase it later on, but right now it's not really essential. So I will go back on here, and I go to new line, and I will add. This is line 11 now. A down of sidings. Over to Green Street. That's all we need to do. And that one is going to have three vehicles. Now, I am also thinking that rather than allowing the vehicles to run all the way from over there, all the way over to this side, maybe it would be a little bit better if I went into here and I got a new road depot. And I dropped another one of these down over this side. It might just make life a little bit easier for some of the people's involved with the different projects that we've got going here. So I'm going to put that one. I'm going to tuck it right in next to there. Whizzy round. Actually, I don't want to go too close to that one. We'll bring it out a little bit in case I want to expand the station there. I could, well, I, I could still want to make that one a bit bigger. So buy vehicles in here. We'll go over the DMG can stats again because that's the ones that we've been using. And we will name those two in there. What do we got this time? Ollie Sim is our first one. There is Ollie Sim. And our second one in here is Michael M. Oops. Michael M right there. So there's our next two candidates. And these two candidates are that pink right there. And then I can go assign to line 11. Like that. Well, I was looking. Um, I was actually looking up some stuff. Wait. You're on line 11. Are you the right colour? Manage vehicle. It is the right colour. It's a different... Oh, it's... oh yeah, they are the right colour. It's, it's just, like, slightly different. I mean, if we go from there and we go over to the red ones over here. So, look at this. Hello World 617 right there, rushing along. That is an altogether different red, isn't it? That's, that's much redder than uh, Ollie Sim was using. Over the track. This is brilliant. This is absolutely fantastic. Everything is running beautifully. It really is. So I've already got silver out over here. I can now speed this along a little bit. We got these two bad boys going to be running up and down. If I've only got two on there, that could take a while. You know what? I'm thinking that we ought to... Uh, we'll go line 11 and we will actually double up on here. So we will, it's that one there, clone selected vehicles. We'll double up, we'll get two more of them. We'll let these run along and I will name them as they drive. So this one here is Papa Big Truck. Right there, Papa Big Truck is now racing up and down the road. And then the next one is Rusty Nail. Six, seven something, hang on. Rusty... I gotta. It, sometimes they have spaces, sometimes they don't have spaces. I try to get the names as accurate as I can. Rusty Nail 67962. Right there. Is our second one. 
Right, bring that one in here. Let's go and have a look at it. He is loading up some silver ore. Right there. We're, we're going to have a little ride with Rusty Nail. Here we go. Okay, the drivers all look the same. Rusty Nail is as elegant as everybody else is involved in this. We'll just follow this one along here. For I love this view. I, I, I genuinely didn't realize that we have this kind of um, a view from the ground before. I mean, I knew it was pretty good. I just didn't realize it was this good. Now, if you look at him here, I really like the animation on the vehicles as well. Proper turning. Like, he's actually turning on the wheels as he goes around the corners. And it seems to be an accurate turn as well. Let's go in here. He's going... Is he going to turn now? He's, he's coming in here. Yeah, and... It's reason. I mean, I think maybe there's a little bit of sideways sliding on the wheels, just a tiny bit, if you look at them really closely. Um, no, actually, I don't think there is, because there was a slight adjustment there on the corner, on, on the wheels, as he turned right then. There's a slight adjustment. And right there again, yes. Wonderful. The silver mine is yielding enough to buy the branch line. Acquire the railway line now. The Sultan civil servants are in nuisance. No matter how small the request, each time they expect a favor in return. For instance, for assuring that none of your merchandise disappears. The other nuisance are the Brits. They constantly snoop around near the oil drilling sites. You ought to sick a couple of savage desert tribes on them. That'll keep them busy. Whether Bedouin tribes or civil servants, they all have one thing in common. Put enough silver in their hands and they're very cooperative. All your wishes will come true. Deliver 20 silver ore to the port and 20 silver ore to the Western Desert tribe. Right, so I've got a train running down over here. And this train right here can carry anything. Traces of an ancient civilization can be found in the desert. Word has it that fabulous treasures of untold value lie waiting there. Set off to recover them before others beat you to it. Well, I'll slow that down then. We'll let this just tick through a minute and we will see what we a can find. A British archaeologist has already set out to search for the ancient stone fragments from Carchemish. Beat her to it and find the city of ruins in the desert. Right, well, the giant yellow question mark that floats above it is probably a bit of a hint. This looks like it might be something, unless it's just kids putting stones together in, in, in the ground. The remnants of an ancient settlement. Maybe even the cradle of civilization. Who knows what kinds of valuable artifacts lie slumbering beneath this pile of rubble and ruins. Dig for ancient artifacts in the ruins. Right, well, to do that, we just go to this one, and then we go to this one, and then we dig. Like this. So I don't want to dig too much. I suppose we could uh, brush size. We could do that. Yeah. Despite ah. all the digging... No artifacts can be found. Maybe the British lady was faster in the end. On the other hand, the excavation crew struck an oil well that's gushing away for all it's worth nearby. That's not bad either. Yeah, we, 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 we don't mind that. We struck an oil well. I don't know where the oil well is. Uh, but there is a bear over here. Oh, what's that for? Roaring. Now what's he doing? Now he's wandering. Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we've got time for today. Sometimes even our fantastic pilots, train drivers, and lorry drivers, and bus drivers, and boat drivers, and all the other drivers need a little bit of rest. So while they rest up and have a cup of tea, if you've enjoyed the episode, could you please head down below and give us a like? And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.